Hello everyone, uh, so today I'm going to try a uh, box break video and I went searching on eBay for the cheapest box uh, that was a full box of cards of uh, not just a blaster box. I was looking for something that I didn't have hardly anything of and I found a Topps Bunt 16. Uh, apparently part of the appeal of this uh, box I went collecting actively back in 2016 and part of the appeal of this box was it came with digital cards that are no longer valid to uh, redeem. Uh, here is what a sample card looks like. It has the uh, the team logo taking up about a quarter of the background here with Topps Bunt in the uh, top corner and I don't remember what the inserts are of this set. It's probably got a, a inserts that are a little bit better than uh, let's say opening day and it does come with 36 packs. I paid $19 for this box. So if it was $18, it would have been 50 cents a pack. And that also came with free shipping. So as I struggle to get the box open here, uh, 36 packs, uh, seven cards per pack. Like I said, I don't remember what the key, if there's anything key, if there's anything of any value whatsoever that appears in this box. But we're going to uh, give it a shot. Uh, I see we've... I knock over a bat right there. Um, we have Carlos Correa on the uh, front of the pack. So uh, let's get uh, to opening here. Got uh, Sandy Koufax. You Darvish from my personal collection. Maddox. Light Fourths of Anthony Rizzo. Ben Sobris. Jose Bautista. And Giordano Ventura. I am going to need to figure out how to get these uh, open a little bit quicker. And in a way of not, <laughs> not showing who's on the back, we've got Craig Kimbrell uh, showing his uh, unusual pitching stance. Smoltz in Kinsler, Sandberg, Goldschmidt. Russell Martin and Hunter Pence. So, uh, unlike opening day, I guess there is not a uh, insert per pack unless we had a uh, parallel there that I didn't know about. Got Evan Longoria, Ted Williams, Jose Altuve. This one looks like a magazine cover, the uh, Bunt 16 program with Freddie Freeman, Griffey. Brian Dozier, and Mark McGuire. So it looks like there is a good mix of uh, today's players plus all of the stars that uh, us Gen X people collected in the uh, 80s and 90s. James Shields, Miguel Cabrera, another era like the one I just showed. Here is the, uh, the digital redemption card which uh, expired at the end of February 2017. So that is no longer any good. Kyle Seeger, Clemente, and Marcus Stroman. Tell me what you think of this uh, setup. Uh, don't know how often I'll use it. I do have to stand while I'm uh, working like this. We've got Ryan Braun, Evan Gaddis, Justin Upton. Unique unis of Griffey as a Mariner, and it shows... I guess that is an American League uh, home run derby from 1999. Jose Barrios, Billy Hamilton with the Reds, Gene Segura. Nomar Mazzara, Chapman, Johnny Bench from our mother-in-law, another expired there. Chris Archer, Michael Conforto, and Madison Bumgardner. Front of the pack says download the app today. I wonder if that is an app that we can uh, still do anything with. JD Martinez, Daryl Strawberry, Jason Kipnis have a light force of uh, Alex Gordon. There's Elvis, Chris Sale, and Will Myers. I seem to get Will Myers cards with uh, everything that I purchase. Have a uh, Wade Boggs. Michael Brantley, Jackie Robinson, Jose Abreu. So is that an insert card? Because uh, 
it doesn't have the, uh, well, no, I guess not, all right? The, just the Sox logo is kind of smaller on that. Sean Doolittle, Giancarlo Stanton, and Jay Bruce. Yeah, I was confused there for a moment because the White Sox logo is kind of thin compared to a lot of these others, and it didn't look like, a, at first it didn't look like the same as some of the others. So we have uh, Cueto, Bo Jackson, Jason Hayward, this magazine cover of Giancarlo Stanton, Kyle Schwarber, David Wright, and George Brett. Aaron Nola, Matt Kemp, Don Mattingly, free pack, George Springer, Brandon Crawford, and Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier is someone that perhaps uh, my wife and my mother-in-law are all going to fight over. Apparently she is one of my mother-in-law's favorite players back when he was a Red. My wife is a Reds fan, and just this year he's a Ranger. If we ever start playing again, Carlos Carrasco, Ozzie Smith, Anthony Rendon, we have Light Force of uh, Altuve, DJ LeMayhew, Manny Machado, and Josh Reddick. Josh Reddick was a player that uh, my wife liked, especially after we went to an Astros game last season. But after hearing that uh, he could have been involved with the scandal, she doesn't really like Reddick too much anymore. So Rod Carew, Hanley Ramirez, Mark Trumbo, The Pack. Andrew McCutcheon, Salvador Perez, and Noah Syndergaard. So it does look like those uh, digital pack redemption cards count as one of the seven cards in the pack, which wouldn't have hated back then, but now has no value. Wish they would have put uh, an actual player on it. Have uh, Michael Franco, Julio Urias, Lorenzo Cain, Eric Hosmer with the, uh, the magazine cover, Ripken, Chris Davis, and Nolan Ryan. So that one is a winner right there. Getting a little bit quicker getting some of these packs open. We've got Kenta Maeda, Freddie Freeman, Stephen Matz, Zach Grinke, John Lester, Randy Johnson, and Gregory Polanco. So one thing I'm noticing is it doesn't really seem to have a lot of rookie cards. Uh, in here, maybe I'm wrong about that, but uh, maybe that's why it doesn't have too much value anymore. It definitely does feel like a cheaper product. Colton Wong, Anthony Rizzo, Carlos Radon, unique unis of Marcel Ozuna, and this is a Miami minor league throwback. Willie McCovey, Shinsu Chu, and Blake Snell. Well, there's a rookie card. A rookie of a pretty good player. Bryce Harper, my mother-in-law's favorite current player. Jock Peterson, Sonny Gray. Looking at you, Danny, for that one. Uh, Curtis Granderson, uh, Jeremy Hazelbaker, Starling Marte. Danny at 12 Again Sports and Outdoors, his favorite player is Sonny Gray. So, uh... He is probably going to get that one from me. Jose uh, Peraza, Christian Yelich as a Marlin, Babe Ruth. Here we have uh, Future of the Franchise with Jose Peraza. Hank Aaron, Carlos Gonzalez, and Corey Seager, rookie card. My wife is a Reds fan, and I don't know if she really has an opinion of... Uh, <laughs> up some of the newer players, but uh, we did go to opening day last year, so we'll see what we find. Ruby Oder, Chipper Jones, Charlie Blackman, the uh, digital card, Jacob DeGrom, Jonathan Lucroy, and David Price. Uh, David Price, uh, like Sonny Gray, is a local kid. I call him a kid, but uh, <laughs> he's not quite anymore. He, uh, let's see, Mark Trumbo, Michael Franco, you couple of repeats there. We have a um, unique unis. It is an Arizona spring training jersey with uh, Randy Johnson. Noah Syndergaard, another Ripken, another Chris Davis. Chris Davis had a bad season, but I still uh, kind of like him from his days with uh, the Rangers. Uh, Henry Owens rookie, Adrian Gonzalez, John Gray, digital pack, 
Troy Tulowitzki, Matt Carpenter, and uh, Vlad Sr. from when he was with the Expos. Vlad was with one of those uh, Ranger playoff teams, so uh, he wasn't there long, but I like him just for the time he was there. Buster Posey, Luis Severino, Garrett Cole, future of the franchise, Peter O'Brien, Adrian Beltre, Barry Larkin, and Nolan Arenado. So I think that Peter O'Brien's dad was Pete O'Brien, who was a one-time Ranger first baseman in the mid-80s, right before I started watching baseball. So Brandon Belt, Carlos Correa on the front of the packs, Dustin Pedroia, Digital Card, Jung Ho Kang, Jake Arrieta, and Starlin Castro. Have uh, Clayton Kershaw, Alex Gordon, Mookie Betts, GD, uh, J.D. Martinez with the Fiesta Tigers jersey. Justin Verlander, Roger Clemens, and Xander Bogarts. I'm liking the uh, alternate jersey cards that come in these packs. I wonder if we'll see more of the uh, Players Weekend cards coming up in uh, future uh, releases. Ryan Zimmerman. Joey Votto, my wife's current favorite player, Brandon Phillips, Robinson Cano, no more Garcia Parra, Adam Wainwright, and Ivan Rodriguez. Uh, Bud Rodriguez was uh, one of my favorites there for a while in the uh, mid to late 90s with the Rangers. Miguel Sano, Felix Hernandez, Stephen Piscotti. Here we have a Robinson Cano, and their alternate is the Seattle Negro League throwback. Cole Hamels, Carl Yastrzemski, and Yasiel Puig. I wonder if Puig is going to be one of the winners of this uh, extended shutdown that we have in baseball uh, since he was the biggest remaining free agent. Seems like the, uh, the fans on the teams that he's been with kind of liked him, but still no team wants to sign him. Pujols, Robin Yount, Corey Kluber, Ikaro, Mike Piazza, and Jose Canseco. And uh, if my friend Yancey is watching, he is the biggest Conseco fan that I ever knew. And I liked the Conseco for his about year and a half when he was with the Rangers. Uh, Dwight Gooden, Jake Bellsbury, Stan the Man Usual, Albert Pujols as the uh, program cover, Chris Bryant, Addison Russell, and Josh Donaldson. Conseco with the Rangers was really only known for blowing out his arm when he tried to pitch in a game, and also the time the baseball um, bounced off his head and turned into a home run. Francisco Lindor, Joe Morgan, uh, Masahiro Tanaka, the digital pack, Mark Teixeira, Prince Fielder as a Ranger, and Byung-Ho Park rookie card. I'm saddened that uh, Prince Fielder's career was derailed with that uh, injury that he was never able to recover from. The Rangers are still uh, paying for his salary. Aldemus Diaz, Steven Strasburg, Juan Gonzalez, uh, another uh, big Ranger of the 90s. Carlos Rodon, and let's see, this is the 76 White Sox throwback. Jersey. I kind of like that. I'm surprised they were using that in 76. That looks like something older than that. David Ortiz, Frank Thomas, and D. Gordon. We have Adam Jones, uh, Peter O'Brien, Jose Fernandez, Willie Mays, Carlos Gomez, Reggie Jackson, and Danny Salazar. I'm trying to think of uh, 36 things to say for small talk between packs here. Not that easy. Mike Moustakis, Edwin Encarnacion, Byron Buxton, future is now Kyle Schwarber, Carlton Fisk, Tyson Ross, and Brooks Robinson. Somewhere I have a Brooks Robinson 
uh, record single uh, back from about the 50s. I'm hoping to find that again soon. Mike Trout, Michael Pineda, Max Scherzer, Digital Pack, Michael Waka, Trevor Story, and Eric Hosmer. Who's the uh, top rookie that we've seen out of here for, so far? Is it Corey Seager? Have uh, Jose Reyes, Nelson Cruz as a Mariner, Brian McCann, and Johnny Bench. So that's another good one for my mother-in-law. Andre Dawson, Matt Harvey, Trey Turner. I'd say I'm digging these cards, but uh, they didn't, I don't think they still make them uh, today, so I guess they just weren't that popular. But uh, at the uh, the secondary market price point, I'm liking it. Dallas Keuchel, Aaron Nola, Matt Kemp, the digital pack, Yanis Cespedes, Matt Duffy, and George Springer. Two packs to go. I guess this set didn't really have any um, uh, autographs or jersey cards. That might make it unpopular. So uh, Don Mattingly, Carlos Carrasco, Ozzie Smith, Chris Davis, program cover, Brandon Crawford, Todd Frazier. Glad we have a second one. So less fighting. We'll go over that one. And DJ LeMayhew. So let me uh, take a look here at, before we open up the last pack, what were some of the odds in here? We had uh, base card player, uh, parallels, so Platinum, Topaz, Crimson. So we've seen several unique unis, programs, Light Force, Future of the Franchise, Loot Card. We've seen those Moonshots. Those are really rare. Stadium Heritage, Title Town, Title Town Parallels, Amber, Platinum. And there are autograph cards, but they are one in about um, 11 billion cases. So, probably not going to find one of those unless they stick it in the last pack here. Anthony Rendon, Rod Carew, Hanley Ramirez, I uh, knock over Manny Machado, Josh Reddick, Andrew McCutcheon, and Salvador Perez. So, I like boxes like this. It has a good mixture of older and newer players. Uh, I could see why if you're looking to into baseball cards as an investment, you're not going to pull anything like a, uh, a Vlad rookie jersey card. So I can see why people today aren't really going to care for it. But uh, if you like to collect cards and just collect your favorite players, I think it's an excellent product. And uh, I certainly think it's worth the $19 I paid for that. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.